So you want a revolver? AKA the six gun, the snub nose, the hand cannon, the wheel gun, Cincinnati roly poly, and whatever else you call it. The old revolver has been around for quite some time, from the early days of percussion weapons to the wonderful world we currently live in. Over time, they've predictably improved and become quite modern. So what is the best tactical revolver out there? Thus, in order to facilitate your decision-making process, we've meticulously curated a compilation of the top seven exemplary tactical revolvers, replete with their essential attributes, as well as vital aspects that warrant contemplation in order to aid you in selecting the paramount option tailored to your specific needs. Moreover, we invite you to peruse our website, gunsyoucantlivewithout.com, where you shall discover a comprehensive analysis and an intuitive comparison instrument to further refine your discernment. Number seven, Chiapa Rhino. The Chiapa Rhino is a revolution and a much better pistol than you might give it credit for. The SAO version is also California legal, but this double action trigger is just as good in its own special way. It's easy to dismiss something so different as a style over substance gimmick. Don't do that. There's a lot to like about the Chiapa Firearms model. This Chiapa Firearms pistol weighs less than two pounds, offers greater repeatability than almost anything here and squashes recoil. These are all established goals of any innovative firearms manufacturing company. A low bore axis does more for recoil control than any clever gas expansion chamber tech ever could. Shooting from the bottom cylinder works. The low bore axis transfers the recoil back through the arm rather than up and away from the target. The grip is shaped to encourage that dynamic. That gave the designers room to shave the weight and play around with the structure, but it also brought problems. Fiber optic sights can't go on the barrel anymore. So that raised rib and unique front end was born from necessity. You don't think they wanted the gun to look like a rhino, do you? The rib shroud is about as light as it can be and the locking mechanism with the frame gives additional rigidity, accuracy, and reliability. The cocking mechanism isn't really the hammer either. It's a lever attached to the hammer that cocks the gun, then retreats out of the way. That is clever. It decreases the mass that's moving during the firing cycle and also eliminates snagging, as does the cylinder release. The engineering leaves nothing to chance either. This is 7075 aluminum with stainless steel internals and everything metal is CNC machined. The tolerances are next to perfect, and Chiapa Italy is a firearms manufacturer with the respect of the industry on that front. A completely new design doesn't come along that often, and we welcome Chiapa Firearms to this world. It wasn't around when Samuel Colt made his first six-shooter, and the new kid has gone a completely different direction. We like the Chiapa Rhino a lot, but maybe for fun, not absolute defense. Number six, Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 327 Revolver. Right from the get-go, this revolver is crammed with unique features. The business end of the pistol features a two-inch stainless steel barrel shrouded in titanium. The barrel is of match quality and delivered spectacular accuracy at 25 yards from the bench. Moving on to the 327's frame, one will notice the even black finish of the ultralight scandium. The black contrasts well with the dull gray of the titanium cylinder and barrel shroud. When I say ultralight, I mean ultralight. This revolver barely tips the scales at a feathery 23 ounces. The gun isn't exactly small with its large end frame, but it is light. It is match accurate, but the sights aren't adjustable. The trigger and action are as light and crisp as those on a competition revolver, and it has the same quick loading moon clips to boot. Number five. Smith & Wesson Model 69. The Model 69, not to be confused with the Model 69 Combat Magnum, which is a different revolver, has a 4.25 inch barrel and a curb weight of 37.4 ounces. This makes it quite comfortable to shoot with 44 specials. The frame and cylinder are stainless steel and the cylinder locks up via a ball detent system for trouble-free operation. The rear sight is adjustable and has a white outline in the notch and the front has a red ramped blade. Grips are pebbled rubber with finger grooves. Number four, Ruger GP100. 
Ruger presents their distinguished GP100 revolvers in a myriad of enticing variations. The particular model under scrutiny here is boasting a 3-inch barrel. This exceptional revolver is meticulously crafted using stainless steel and adorned with a satin stainless finish. The grip features Ruger's patented Hogue monogrip, accompanied by an integrated rear sight and a ramp style front sight. The 3 inch barrel incorporates a 1 to 18.75 inch RH twist, contributing to the revolver's overall length of 8.5 inches. In terms of heft, this piece weighs in at a substantial 36 ounces. Reliability and steadfast performance are ensured through the triple locking cylinder, which securely locks to the frame at the front, rear, and bottom, facilitating more precise alignment. For safety considerations, the transfer bar mechanism serves to assuage concerns regarding inadvertent discharge. With a six round capacity, this revolver is chambered in the potent 357 Magnum caliber, whilst also accommodating 38 special rounds. The double action trigger pull is remarkably smooth, whereas the single action trigger option delivers a crisp, clean break. This high caliber American manufactured revolver instills confidence for self-defense and home protection as well as precision target shooting. Number three, Kimber K6S DASA. The Kimber K6S DASA double action single action is not for those on a tight budget. However, in terms of value, it offers a lot for the money. Kimber has taken this 357 Magnum chambered revolver to the next level. This has been achieved by outfitting it with their double and single action match grade trigger mechanism. In terms of trigger factory settings, these are approximately 9.5 to 11.5 pounds for double action and 3.25 to 4.25 pounds for single action. This platform retains all of the benefits of the company's original six shot K6S capacity. It has a stainless steel frame with an engraved overbrushed stainless finish and a serrated back strap. The walnut three finger target grip ensures a solid weapon hold. As for the three dot white sights, these couple with the four inch barrel to give shooters a wider sight radius for greater precision. It has overall dimensions of 8.62 by 1.39 by five inches and weighs in at 29 ounces. Kimber has excelled in concealed carry design. The hammer is shrouded and every line has been smoothed to ensure a rapid snag free draw whenever the occasion demands. Shooters looking for a perfectly tailored concealed carry revolver that delivers stopping power are in the right place. Number two, Ruger Super Red Hawk. The Ruger Super Red Hawk is a large revolver produced by Sturm, Ruger & Company, a well-known firearms manufacturer based in the United States. It was first introduced in 1979 and is still in production today. The Ruger Super Red Hawk is known for its powerful chambering in calibers, such as 454 Castle, 480 Ruger, and 44 Magnum. It is a popular choice for hunting and self-defense due to its powerful chambering and reliable design. The Super Red Hawk is also known for its durability and accuracy, making it a good choice for outdoor use or as a backup gun. The Ruger Super Red Hawk has various finishes, including black, stainless steel, and blued. It is also available in various barrel lengths and grip styles, allowing users to customize their revolver to their specific needs and preferences. Overall, the Ruger Super Red Hawk is a popular and reliable revolver suitable for various purposes, including hunting and self-defense. It is known for its durability, accuracy, and powerful chambering. Number one, S&W M&P R8. The most expensive gun on our list at more than $1,400, this gun comes from S&W's Performance Center. I shot one in the company of a local police officer who was equally impressed. On an indoor range at 50 feet, and firing offhand in double action at 50 feet, we were easily able to keep our shots in the inner circle of a silhouette target, thanks to the excellent trigger pull. This pull is made possible through the custom tuning done at the Performance Center. The R8 is so named because it holds eight rounds of 357 Magnum or 38 Special Ammunition, and its scandium frame keeps the weight down to just 35.8 ounces. That's pretty light for a large end frame gun with a five inch barrel. For those who are serious about their revolver shooting or plan to be, the black stainless steel cylinder is cut for moon clips. These metal clips hold eight rounds together, 
and all you have to do is drop a loaded moon clip into the cylinder, close the cylinder, and start shooting. Toward the end of that slab-sided, shrouded barrel's underside is an integral accessory rail for a light or laser, which is something few revolvers have and a decided benefit in a home defense situation. The rear sight has an adjustable V-notch, and the front is a blade and is also interchangeable. The R8 is not exactly small, but it handles very well. And with the moon clips, you've got that fast reload at your disposal. The finger-grooved synthetic grips are comfortable and offer a really secure hold. While expensive, its feature set make this the ultimate revolver for defense. In conclusion, we've presented our carefully curated selection of the finest tactical revolvers. We trust you found this presentation to be informative and valuable. Should you concur, we would be most grateful for a thumbs up, which is always highly esteemed. We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below regarding the tactical revolver you've decided upon. Thank you for your attention, and we sincerely hope this video has been beneficial to you. If you found it helpful, kindly bestow a like upon this video. And to ensure you remain up to date with our forthcoming content, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel.